Well, good morning. Um, I want to talk to you this morning about struggle and um, how struggle can actually be uh, beneficial. So I know it kind of almost sounds like a contradiction, right? How can struggle be beneficial? But um, I think this is something we can all relate to at the minute because, well, all of us are struggling, aren't we? Some to uh, a lesser degree than others and some in really uh, desperate struggles right now with the whole world being affected with coronavirus and the financial implications, the health implications behind that and what does the future hold? So I think probably this is a topic that um, all of us, we can relate to right now in the world. But uh, I want to talk to you about a moth that comes from my home country, Scotland. It's a moth called the Emperor Moth. And um, I want to try and illustrate to you how maybe struggle can be something that's beneficial. So there was this man uh, who lives up in the Highlands and he was out for a walk one day. Uh, and as he was walking through the, the Highland Trails, he came across this cocoon. It was the cocoon of the Emperor Moth. And uh, he took it home. He was quite interested to see what would emerge from this cocoon. And so he took it home and he had this little shed out in his garden and he sat there and he and he watched and he could see movement inside the cocoon. And it wasn't long before a little hole appeared at the end of the cocoon and this, this moth began to try and squeeze uh, through, through the hole. Um, and after some time, it, it didn't seem to be doing anything. And so the man in his kindness, he thought he would, he would help it. Uh, so he got a pair of scissors and he snipped off the, the end of the cocoon to allow the moth to emerge. And it wasn't long before the moth emerged. Um, but instead of opening its wings and, and, and taking flight, this moth had a, had a swollen body and shriveled little wings. And he continued to, to watch it. He was watching it there on his, on his desktop and he was hoping he was going to see the wings open up to all their splendor and then the moth would, would take off. But in fact, nothing happened. That, that moth just began to walk around with its swollen body and its small wings and it spent the rest, of, the rest of its life just crawling around and was never able to fly. You see, the man in his, in his kindness and in his haste, he didn't realise that the, the restricting cocoon and the struggle um, for that moth to come out was God's way of actually forcing fluid through the whole body of the, of the moth and out into the wings. And that would then enable it to fly once its wings had opened and, and dried. So that man in his kindness had actually restricted that moth from ever taking flight. And just as that moth could, could only find freedom in flight through, through struggles and trials, I think often we need to struggle to become all that God um, intends us to be. Um, sometimes I think we just wish that God would remove our struggles, remove the obstacles. You, you might even have prayed that prayer, you know, remove, remove all these things and why these things happen and there's all these terrible struggles going on right now but you see if if god did that wouldn't god be the same as that that man um wouldn't wouldn't that restrict us in the long run um like an athlete that doesn't train how is he ever going to win a competition and it's through the struggle and through the effort that, that an athlete puts in that he's able to achieve uh, all that's intended for him you see god doesn't take away our our problems and our difficulties, but he does promise to to be there in the midst of those uh, troubles and also as well to restore us um, and make us into uh, better, stronger people. And where, where do I find the evidence of that in the Bible? Well, let me just read for you, if I may, from, uh, from the Bible, 1 Peter 5.10. Uh, just listen to this. And the God of all grace, isn't that interesting? The God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, Here's the bit. After you have suffered a little while, he himself will restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. So I'm just going to repeat that again, okay? 1 Peter 5.10 And the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. God bless you. And I hope that... Um, You'll put your faith and your trust in him, in God alone, through Christ, to get you through the struggles in this life. God bless.